While Jesus calls each of us individually, he also calls us to a team. Together, we have opportunities for impact we would never have alone. Lawanda Children's Home in Uganda is a cherished ministry partner that we've been blessed to team up with for years. The impact we've had there through money and mission has been huge and made possible only by your collective generosity. It all started in my home when we had a number of people in our church die of AIDS. And then that is how the number of kids who are orphaned started growing in number. We plant churches in East Africa, that is in Kenya, in Uganda and Tanzania. We have so far planted 135 churches. In these churches that we are planting, we are having so many members in the church who are dying of AIDS and even other diseases. So that is when we are like, I think it's time to start up something, to build a home for these children. And through God's grace, we started up Rwanda Children's Home. The church we were attending at that time was Grace uh, Community Bible Church. And uh, they came over and did church planting. And so uh, some of the members came back after those church planting trips and had an idea. Mor uh, Morris and Ida also had this vision, can we do something? And uh, so the group got together at that little tiny church, Grace Community Bible Church, and said, let's do something. We built the first main hall and then the building and the kitchen. And then it was, it was like, now it's time to bring in the kids. We first brought in the first 25 kids. But you know, as God continued providing, we kept adding and adding and adding. Where now I think Rwanda has been taking care of almost three hundred children right now, of which some of them, have, of course, they have graduated. Some of them are still going to school. Some of them have started working. Yeah, that's how we've been operating. These children, when they are brought at Rwanda, they are, uh, they are vulnerable. The few relatives who are there, they abandon them because they don't have basic needs to provide to these children. So most of these children, when we bring them, they have been uh, rejected by the, the few relatives who are there, the clan members who are there. Uh, they think that uh, maybe God has rejected them, maybe the world hates them. And now when they come to Rwanda, we try as much as possible to show them the love of God. We needed to look for people who love, who make these children feel like they have mothers. She should be someone who loves the kids. She should be willing to pray with them, become a real mother to these kids. And we built houses where they have a mama, where a mother is having her own children, like maybe 10 in a house, where now they are growing up in a family. They go back home, they eat, they clean, they do everything. So that is how it all started. When I was born, my parents died. In our village, we looked as a burden to our relatives because they were looking at another mouth to feed. We were left to just roam around and we had no belonging at all because no one wanted to take us. No one wanted to take us in. We are nothing to them. When I first arrived here, of course they were children. These kids were happy. Actually, the kids welcomed us hugging us, they are bringing in us. We are new family to them. Okay, we are gonna be your parents. We are going to stand for you in every situation. And that has made, made a lot to us in our hearts. We all feel attached to them. All the mothers, they are so dear to us. I think the children's home has produced engineers. We have social workers. We have different children in different professions. Everything that you see what we are becoming is because of the grace of God through you people that we are what we are. Right now, I'm in law school because of the funds that you give us, of the good heart that you have towards us. The story is successful because you people have made it to be successful through you that I am what I am. It, it, it's just been an amazing event being part of this to see how God, if He is in it, He will provide. 
and it's impacting kids, it's impacting us, and whenever you get that privilege to see God's hand at work, what better place is there to be in, in a, as a Christian than be a witness to watching God do His thing? From the bottom of our hearts, I would like to say thank you so much to Memorial Drive Presbyterian Church. You have really supported our children to go to school. You have made a difference in their lives. May God bless you abundantly. We still need you. Uganda has still so many children out there who still need your help. We love you so much and God bless you. The stories you hear of MDPC generosity, those are your stories. You are key to the work being done in the field, both locally and globally, because every team member matters. We're eager to take the field with you for another year. Let's go Team MDPC!